It's easy to focus on the tools and techniques of continuous improvement while neglecting the idea that creating the right environment for CI is a crucial prerequisite for tapping into that enormous well of ideas and motivation for improvement contained throughout our workforce. This environment is created during certain critical moments of truth between management, supervision, and the employees. Uh, it's crucial. I mean, if we had one bad moment like that, it could, you know, it could shut down a lot of great ideas that are coming. In the 35-minute video, Moments of Truth, Shingo Prize recipient Bruce Hamilton invites managers and supervisors to take a look in the mirror to examine how their actions and reactions can alternately energize the continuous improvement program or destroy it. This video is about the people side of Lean. More specifically, about the critical role that management and supervision play in creating a chain of support that's the foundation for Lean. Drawing upon the wisdom of the creators of the Toyota production system, Taiichi Ono and Shigeo Shingo, and Deming Prize winner Ryuji Fukuda, this training tool focuses on the essential changes in management behavior that foster and support a sustainable lean transformation. Do everything that we can to keep our manufacturing costs and overhead down. Always looking for better ways, ways to improve, looking at something that we did six months ago. And then all of a sudden, they saw all this room for improvement. In a series of dramatizations, the GBMP team take you into both the office and the factory to examine critical moments of truth, single points in time during which interaction between manager and employee either create employee involvement or discourage it. I think you were in the big box, so why don't you figure it out? Each failed moment is analyzed suggestions for improvements are created and then the moment is replayed this time with some changes for the better the supervisor meanwhile is reassured change accomplished as we see in this scene treats employees as objects of change the support chain has been broken Rob's worst a tactical error has been made in the supervisor's retort even if the office manager has a valid concern a better response would be in this video you'll learn why is it not a good idea to improve, lean out, Kaizen, or 5S, another person's area? Why is employee participation so important in creating buy-in and true improvement? Why won't employees act, sometimes even on good ideas? Why is a corporate mandate not enough to drive continuous improvement? Why is the answer to the question why as important, if not more important, than the how-to of continuous improvement? When they see what our bottom line profit is and they can see some of the changes they can make to affect that, it's easy for us to let go and let the enthusiasm build with the employees. Why don't employees trust the lean effort and how can this be changed? Why is most objection cautionary in nature and how can it be dealt with? What's the best way to deal with the fears of supervisors, employees and management? Why is it important to give credit and praise to all your employees? How do you deal with or approach mistakes? When we put them in a position to allow them to take the second and third shot at it to get it right, they knew that they were a part of it, and that was the key. What's the biggest creativity killer of all? Armed with the people tools that are necessary to create the lean environment, you and your team will approach the continuous improvement method with a better focus on improvement that comes directly from the proper culture and relationships. What is your depth of understanding? There will be critical moments in time where your actions or reactions will either energize or kill Kaizen. Moments of truth. Are you watching for these? Can you provide both the information and inspiration to foster the Kaizen way in your company? To order copies of the Moments of Truth DVD for licensing or translation information, or for information about on-site training and free consultations from the Greater Boston Manufacturing Partnership, contact Chris Martin at 617-287-7648.